instead of giving y'all another shitty meme to hold you over until next week when another video comes out, um, let's go on to Reddit. Have some fun. Let's get it! Oh my god, can you put a trigger warning on this for me? I'm fat and this makes me jealousy and feel shame. Gonna cry into a can of Pringles and try to down with root beer. I hope this is a joke. Yo. <laughs> How can you be that moved by seeing someone who has a better body type than you? It's crazy. You wouldn't feel this way if you just lost the weight. I really hope this is a meme. I can't really- I, I, I think this isn't serious, but if it is, I, I feel sorry for you. Because if a post really makes you feel that bad about yourself, what does that say about you? <laughs> oh boy, this is a long one. <clears throat> you can tell who's never had weight problems when they say all you have to do is diet a little and exercise. As if it's that easy. First of all, people are raised on a lifestyle and you expect them to immediately change it? Yes. Secondly, genetics and metabolism and stuff play a large role. Maybe. Lastly, some people can't afford a healthy lifestyle and slash or don't have time to exercise or access to equipment. So why people think you can just wake up and start a whole new life, I will never know. And why people think other people's bodies are their business, I will also never know. If you don't know what you're thinking, just sit down and eat food. It's that simple. No, it's not though. It's called being an adult. If you feel that you need to change something, change it. You can do it. You don't necessarily have to go to an expensive gym or have to eat expensive, what, vegetables or other weight loss items. Just do a few push-ups. Do a little bit of that jogging, you feel me? Little dumb pull-ups and you'll see the weight change. If you put your mind to it, you'll lose the weight. It's that easy. And the genetics and metabolism, yes, they play a role, but not to the amount that you think. Genetics only can do but so much, honey. Thank you, YouTube, for continuing pushing the ad for some sort of weight loss thing called Ascension that involves people looking at photos of their before selves and take thinking... <laughs> All right, I'm already done. No, if you really don't want to see uh, weight loss ads on YouTube, just use Adblock or um, buy YouTube Red. I'm not even gonna sit through this bullshit. Y'all can read this, but this is retarded. Oh my gosh, you shouldn't show me these things. How does YouTube know I'm fat? Wow, read, read. Fat people are held to impossible standards. Fat people are allowed to be sick or disabled. Being sick or disabled doesn't strike against your credibility. It's okay to be fat. Nah, fat people aren't held to impossible standards. You just think that. And uh, no one's saying it's a strike against your credibility to be disabled. Uh, this entire post is ridiculous. It's so, yeah, no one's saying it's wrong to be fat. We're just saying that uh, you'll die because of it. Hope you like having heart disease. I'd watch this for Bill Hatter, but seriously, where are the fat slash chubby actors? Like, come on, are we fat washing people too? <laughs> What? If you read the book, the one chubby character gets skinny as an adult. They, the rest were never fat to start with. It's pretty accurate. Oh my god. Is that what we're at now? You, you not only need to have every race under the sun in a TV show, but now every single one of them has to be fat and disabled too? We gotta recognize my boy out here, the second bubble, out here with the clapbacks. I like you, dude. You know your shit. A real man will love every inch, curve, roll, and dimple. Hmm. Yeah, I'm a man, and I'm gonna tell you, certain people have a thing for pain, some for schoolgirls or teachers, but do not categorize every man into loving a fat woman over a healthy one. <laughs> real women are not sticks. Well, okay, real women are not elephants. <laughs> Yo, these clapbacks! <laughs> Women are created to have protective fat and having curves. There's a difference between having protective fat, which is bullshit, and having 400 pounds of fat! <laughs> Yo! These clapbacks are strong! I'm loving it! She's beautiful. Men love thicker women. They want something to hold on to. Men like all kinds of things. I can assure you, my husband does not. Just saying. You know what all men want? 
thick means stupid where I live. Yo! <laughs> it's funny, I understand where the blue woman is coming from, because uh, where I live, a lot of people do like thicker women. They really stretch that word. Uh, but not all men do. And don't try to make men feel bad for not liking you. I mean, people have their tastes. Some people like big women. Most people don't. Here's a cool thing that you can do that costs zero dollars. It's called not pushing diet culture onto children. It's 100% for free and a cute idea that costs literally nothing. Protecting your child's health should be paramount. I don't care if they want to eat donuts every day. They're not going to be able to do that because I am responsible for their health. This entire post is borderline child abuse. Why fat acceptance? Fat equals unhealthy. Oh, wait, what? Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, that's a non-equal sign. Oh, I see. <laughs> Almost thought they were saying something right here. Okay. Diets don't work. Fat people are human. Humans deserve respect and dignity. Even unhealthy ones. Stop fat shaming. Obesity crisis is funded by diet companies. Oh, duh. Fat discrimination is real. All bodies are good. Bonus, self-esteem, body love, freedom, shame-free, making choices that are great for you. Okay, uh, three of those things were right. Uh, humans deserve respect and dignity. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, fat people are human, I'm pretty sure. Um, and uh, yeah, the third thing would have been the fat equals unhealthy, but that says not equal, so. <laughs> I'll extend to Olive Branch. You are right. All bodies are beautiful, just some bodies are more beautiful than others. And don't even get me sorry about the comment about obesity crisis is funded by diet companies. N no shit, diet companies are trying to make money. And also, they have the deepest pockets. Most organizations that want to fight obesity go to them. They're like, hey, can you fund us? And uh, we'll talk about how your chicken will make someone lose 50 pounds. Clicked on desserts at Red Robin Burgers. Fuck you for having low-key food shaming and moralizing. <laughs> Look at it. Red Robin's telling you, like, hey, it's 2,000 calories in these little chocolate sticks. You better chill the fuck out. Come on, girl or boy. Oh, it's most likely a girl. It's like, th this company, specifically Red Robin, doesn't want you to have a heart attack at their restaurant. They just want to let you know that, hey, if you eat, like, three of these and you're obese, you, you might die. So, we don't want to get sued. That's all this is, honey. And if it's really that bad that someone's telling you that there's the calorie amount in a food that you're ready to eat, what does that say about you? Literally, this entire comment is about how you're so insecure about yourself. There's nothing wrong with Red Robin here. The thing that just blows my mind, though, is that the majority of women aren't small sizes in the USA. So riddle me this, why are the majority of women's clothes made for smaller people? I thought capitalism was all about the money, eh? That's funny, it's almost like there isn't, like, big people stores. Literally, if there wasn't, like, uh, what, I don't even know what it's called, that they just completely serve larger women. Uh, but if that didn't exist, maybe you would have had a leg. Uh, but you don't. You have no legs. You have no argument. I'm getting tired of this. Stupid. Next one. Fuck having a flat stomach. Your body has organs. That's how you're supposed to be. They keep you alive and functioning, and yes, they take up space, but that's because they need to, and it's nothing to be ashamed of. Don't listen to Instagram posts that try to tell you differently. Boy, don't even get me started. That's not how this works. Even in the, the diagram shows you. You're not supposed to have a distended stomach. You have a muscle wall around your abdomen that keeps everything together. The fuck is this? Do you No! It's like the posts that talk about how fat girls have uteruses and that's what's poking out. Those guys forget that there's such thing as a pelvis! The fuck is this shit? The professional development group I'm in and complain a lot about. Oh, I have a feeling I know where this is going. I just saw the MD. Oh wow had a speaker today who was an MD teaching us about longevity tips. He actually recommended fucking calorie restriction for everyone. 
as adding years to your life, and also repeatedly referred to obesity as a disease in and of itself, and said no fat person has ever had good blood work. Anyway, I need one of those memory erasing things from Men in Black, now please, it's called a Neuralizer! Urgh, why do people not know the name? This entire post reeks of insecurity. Oh my gosh, I bet the person who wrote this tried calorie restriction. It didn't work out for her, so she just assumes it doesn't work out with any other girl. Ooh, it's sad. And funny at the same time, because how can you get this pissed when a doctor who works in a profession just to help you, you're pissed because they said that a fat person has never had good blood work. I, I somewhat just don't believe that because I don't think doctors talk in absolutes like that. But even if they did, even if the, the person you were talking to did say this, they're not wrong. They're not. So cease. So I was at a Denny's a few days ago on a date and I noticed that they renovated this particular Denny's. I used to go to that one a lot when work was booming. And I used to be able to fit into the booths and this time I couldn't. I'm gonna stop you there. I already know where this is going. Stop it. The world isn't gonna conform to you. I understand that you wanna be comfortable, but if you wanna be comfortable in places like a Denny's or any other restaurant, just lose the weight. I already know what you're gonna say. See, look, the two booths, the two bubbles. Did I really just say booths? What's wrong with me? The two bubbles below are even worse. That ticks me off. I always ask for a table when I go anywhere. That's sad. Just lose the weight. The second bubble's even better. I prefer booths because of my chronic pain, but apparently fat people aren't allowed comfort. Who was saying that? Nobody's saying that. Where? Stop. Stop it. Stop. So a co-worker of mine told me my lunch wasn't any kind of lunch, and that I wasn't eating enough. Yes, at work I eat small portions, because I enjoy larger dinners that keep me full of past bedtime. Here's the thing though, were the roles reversed, and I commented on how often she drinks soda, or eats enough for two, I would be the bad guy. So I just smiled and said, it's enough for me, and she can think what she wants about my lunch. I'll just be over here, losing weight and minding my own business. <laughs> Bruh, based, based. Calories are good for you, 2,000 plus a day, or you go into dietary ketosis. Calories don't equal fat, you literally cannot get fat off with this type of food, unless you have a metabolic damage or slow metabolism from calorie restricting. You can't get fat off of food that doesn't contain fat, or high amounts of fat without ever over consuming. Oh lord. All I see in this, these two little YouTube comments, it's just somebody's a little bit insecure about not being able to lose weight. Literally, all of this is unfounded. This doesn't make sense. I don't understand why I'm expecting all these posts to actually have some sort of cited data that maybe support their ludicrous thoughts about weight and beauty. I think I'm holding these posts to a higher standard than they can, than they can achieve. How does your asshole chafe? What the f my ass fat rubs together creating friction that leads to chafing which leads to a <laughs> rash that leads to mo oh my god what the fuck yo losing weight sounds like a better solution than having permanent yeast infection on your ass bro what the fuck is this pose this is gross oh god Fuck diet culture. Fuck fat shaming. Fuck body shaming. Fuck society's beauty standards. I'm not gonna read that. Y'all can read that. Somebody's angry. Somebody is upset. Mm -mm -mm. Before, hated my body. After, love it. Hot tip! Posting weight loss photos shows us which bodies you value. No matter how hashtag body positive your caption sounds, if you don't want us to believe thinner is better, then stop reinforcing that message under the self guise of self love. Well, uh, thinner is better, honey. Yep. We do value thin bodies. You got that right. You're not wrong. Um, and, uh, don't hate on other people who actually achieved their goal. So. Yeah, this is just a lot of hate. Astonishing concept. Let people eat, regardless of any circumstance. Unless they're your child. I agree with this, yeah. I will let you eat what you want and become fat. I'm not your parents. 
but if you are related to me or you're a close friend, uh, I'm going to be on your ass because I don't want to see you get hurt. That simple. A cur Bitches always want to call somebody fat. Bitch, you only skinny because you smoke meth and got to walk everywhere. Dude, that don't even make sense. God, Jesus. If you... Oh, wow. <laughs> this is cringy. Oh, wow, the hatred. Can you talk about how skinny girls talk about you like this? Okay. Yeah, you're in the right. You're totally not the asshole in this situation. See, this is what happens when you put all your images on the desktop. When I threw them into, like, one folder, I forgot I had some, uh, Drawing in the Franks memes. So, uh, since I'm out of, uh, r slash fatlogic pictures, uh, here's some memes to hold you over until the video ends. Enjoy!